54 is a nice mix of conservation of momentum and conservation of energy because you have a block and a bullet shooting it from below. Uh, when the bullet enters, it, it makes a collision, transfers some of its momentum into the block, and then the block goes up until it stops. And to figure out how high it goes up, you can just use conservation of energy. So, um, and we're trying to figure out that height. So uh, the mass of the bullet is the usual tiny 10 grams, which turns out to be 0 0.01 kilograms. The mass of the block, boop, that's a block, is 5 kilograms. The velocity initial of the bullet is a thousand Oof. meters per second and the velocity final of the bullet I didn't really keep them in the right order, whatever is 400 meters per second, meaning the bullet doesn't get embedded in inside the block, it just shoots straight through and comes out slower but still comes out with a, s a certain speed so, momentum is conserved. This is not an elastic collision, so we're not going to use conservation of kinetic energy. We just need good old M, B, V, B initial, plus M of the block, V of the block initial equals M, B, V, B final plus mass of the block. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Velocity of the block. I'm on a roll. Final. And the bullet's mass is 0 0.01. The bullet's initial velocity is 1,000 plus zero, because the block starts at rest, and that's going to equal 0 0.01. Comes out at 400 meters per second. Mass of the block is 5 kilograms. Velocity final of the block is what we can use with conservation of energy to find out how high it goes. So solve for velocity final of the block, and you get 1.2 meters per second. Makes sense because the block is way more massive than the tiny bullet and so it's not going to speed up as much. The bullet lost 600 meters per second of speed. The block only gained 1.2. So the mass makes a difference. Now conservation of energy. So we start off the block. How high does it go? Well it starts off with kinetic energy gained from the collision with the bullet. But then at the highest point, it stops, it, uh, and all that kinetic energy turns into gravitational potential energy. So we get one half m of the block, v of the block, and this is going to be v block final, even though this is like initial kinetic energy. But this is the speed we're going to use, because that's the speed when the block first starts moving. Final. We're assuming, by the way, that the block doesn't move while the bullet goes through it. It's not a completely realistic assumption, but it's not any worse than a frictionless surface. Mass of the block times gravity times height is the formula for potential energy. Yay, cancel, doesn't even matter. So one half times one, oops, whoa, whoa. I've seen a lot of people f forget the square and I just did it there, so it's pretty easy to forget that little thing. Don't forget it. Equals 9.8 times h. h equals 0 0.073 meters. So it goes up 7.3 centimeters. Not too high. All right, that's it.